For this week's Closet Confessions, we're going to talk about the white dress. Now I'm in LA, so I've got Jemima and the team to make an amazing edit of all the different ways I think you can wear white dresses so that they don't look bridal, unless of course you wanna be the bride, so that they last a long time in your wardrobe and how to look after them. The merits of broderie anglaise versus viscose and silks and who should be wearing white versus ecru and cream. So have a watch now and I hope you enjoy it because Jemima went through all the archives to bring you my favourite elements of how to wear a white dress. Hello Trini! Hello darling! Oh wow what are we doing today? What do you think? Looks white and summery. Yeah, white dresses. <laughs> I mean, I love a white dress. So I'm going to take you through the ones I have and what I bought them for and how I wear them. Okay. So I'm starting with this, which I got on eBay. It is Balmerod at 12. Mm -hmm. And um, this is like my dress I would wear with a bikini underneath or I'd wear on a summer holiday. Definitely with thin white dresses, you want knickers that are the color of your skin. What makeup would you have with this? Well, I always wear a red lip nearly with a white dress. Okay. So I've got some there, but I'm gonna start with lip glow. Like a perennially flattering red for most people. And I can do it like that, just a little, Ooh. you know, sort of soupçon. It's called Lara. I just think it gives such a nice freshness to wear red and white. Yeah. This is like something, you know, you buy that lovely dress and the underwear doesn't work. So there's three elements to underwear for wearing white. I'm standing far back because I'm a little embarrassed. I said to Lucy before, I want to put my heels on for this. <laughs> so I have, makes the butt better. People talk about nude underwear. Nude is really a skin tone. And I think it's just, you've got to find your skin tone and find a brand that caters to your skin tone. Spank some cells, do do basic colors, but heist do far better skin tone colors. You don't want your underwear looking, showing through. Even if you think that's a look, in many instances, it's not a great look. And and then we talked as well about my little nude slip. Yes. Okay, and this yeah. to me is something I had made, but this is a net fabric you can buy in any haberdashery. So this, you want to get in your perfect skin shade. So if I put any dress on it, like I've got a lot of white dresses, like this Temperley one, which is one of my favorites. So with this, which would be a little rude for me normally. You can't see my underwear, but I'm showing you the lovely broderie anglaise and you still see the joy of that broderie anglaise. That's to me the nirvana of wearing anything lacy and white in the summer is think about your underwear. Little trick, sorry, let me show you another trick with another white dress. Okay, so this one yeah. is from the Copples, which is another great brand. This one was really thick everywhere and I think I cut Yes, I did. It had a it had a white bit that went all the way down, Lucy. Yeah. And I felt when it stopped being full fabric and when it became thinner fabric, I didn't want to feel so hot. So I just actually cut here and I cut it at exactly the place of the line on the dress. Okay. So you didn't see the difference. And then it gave me that slight see-throughness at the bottom. So that's sort of doing the opposite of what I suggested, but it's just when a bottom dress feels really heavy, where do you cut it? You cut it on a line where there's a seam, where there might be a ruffle or a he another hem. It's that kind of full on moment where only Sweeney will do. It is a liar. It's very long waisted and there's a little part of me that's maybe stopped wearing it because I'm so aware I'm so long bodied mm. that do I want to wear such a long waisted dress on me? And although I wouldn't want to do anything to an Alaya dress, Alaya dresses do allow for corsetry. So I've got an idea. Diane Furstenberg belt. And it's like you don't want to ruin the line of the dress, but let me just see if it just brings up the waist and does something mm. or not. It's just too dirty. Yeah. yeah. It's too dirty, isn't it? But you see what I'm saying of that kind of now it feels, I yeah. don't feel long bodied in it. I so think it's such a flattering shape though. I you, know it is. Yeah. yeah. Really? Like your silhouette looks amazing. Maybe I'm so self-conscious because I'm so used to knowing inside I have a long body, short legs. Mm. But maybe it doesn't matter. But I think anything low waisted nowadays, I would feel self-conscious to wear, but yeah, it actually yeah. looks great. Yeah. Okay, well maybe I just have to wear it. I mean, the problem with a dress like this, it was really expensive is you're so scared you get something on it. And that's the thing about white, we're scared we get something on it. Especially a but, red lip. <laughs> yeah, especially a red lip. But it's always the thing, remember when you're taking it on and off, 
to put something over your face if you've got makeup on. Just remember, like, even if you get home and you're a bit drunk, um, you know, just take your makeup off before you take off the dress because that's mm -hmm. when we most damage dresses around here. This is something, interestingly, I bought from Zara. I don't know how I go in the way of this. I feel a bit nasty in it whenever I put it on. And then when we were doing a packing for one of the foreign trips, I put it on and I loved it as an outfit. And I just, I love it. I feel it's just elegant. It's not too nasty, nasty. Mm -hmm. um, it has... Uh, you know, slits on the side. I'm wearing it with a trouser that's cream and I want to talk about white and cream together because I'm fine with white and cream together. And I think that I have a slightly creamy coat and I even would, if, I would, if it was cold, I'd be cool to do that sort of white cream, white moment. How would you accessorize this outfit, Trini? Um, depends what I'm doing. I might just do a plain white bag um, and I could do my Lux Morris, which I do with a lot of things. And this sort of utilitarian strap, mm. I think, goes well with the outfit. Yeah. And I'd probably do that. I'll wear this going to work. It's like, you know, we, we talk a lot about alternative work outfits. I would wear this to work. This is one of my favorite caftans for summer. So it's an all-encompassing caftan with pockets. It's the one I made longer. It's from Zara. And you remember as Susanna came in and sewed on an extra bit and then made the little line so they're same to the top so it became a really lovely ankle length yeah so i'm off to the beach you know and i'll have a beach bag which i haven't got here a straw bag and it's perfect all right but this thing could be so many things so let's say then i've got lunch i could just put a simple little fun choker on just gives it something but you know you can dress a white caftan with so many pieces of jewellery and each time you, if you have big fun bits of jewellery, it just changes the whole thing, it nearly changes it as a dress. So, you know, I can do that look. I can do this look which one of the Trini Tribers gave me. Oh, fun! Just really fun. Still being a bit, you know, Margot from The Good Life. <laughs> but then I want to go a night on the town, so I can either go and do a white belt, you know, just a little gold earring, sunglasses, that white belt from DVF, and a little gold shoe. It's like the, the template for bringing accessories on holiday. You could take one dress, not get it dirty, and just give three or four different looks. Or I could be doing a chic in town, which is kind of bangles, bag, getting that tonality of all of the topes, all of the tans, and I think that makes it more urban. And then I'll probably put on with this a bit of VB. These bracelets I collected over the years, and when I have a this sleeve length, it just adds yeah. something. These are very neutral shade, and I just like the neutrality, and these are Bottega Veneta, about 15 years old. It's incredibly nice cotton. I love that sleeve. I think it's so special. I like the fact it's got pockets. Mm -hmm. I like the fact you're in a huge granddaddy shirt, so if you're more petite, you can wear it just with a Birkenstock like that, and if it was ankle length, probably but being five foot 10, it sits so that I want to wear it with the trouser underneath and give it that sort of grading. Mm -hmm. um, I can wear a bag over it, a sort of, you know, silver bag moment. So if I want to make it more in London during the day thing, mm -hmm. I could just do that. Giving that slight shape to your dress by doing a crossbody. And maybe for the woman who doesn't love being super dressy, this is so casual, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it's, it's so casual and yet, it's really nice, all white. This is a white dress, and I thought, oh, lovely linen white dress. Notice the neckline. Whatever necklace I put on, and I still was faced with that. I even put chokers above, and I just thought there's something wrong with that. So to me, the devil is in the detail. Because this is a very similar white dress. It ends at the same, it's slightly more A-line. But if I look at that as a neckline, Lucy, it just is so much more modern for me. And then I put a necklace on as well, and there's just a freshness. And then if I were to put a bright lip on, it would just have the white right at the corner and just be a cooler looking dress. The other one made me feel very old fashioned. A little white sequin dress with a little bit of Freya. The full enchilada. It was very up and down, so I really took it in. But I just love this idea of a white sequin dress in the summer. And it's kind of totally glam, but I don't feel I'm in a little pretty shift dress. You know, I feel, and I could even just downplay and take off those shoes. That juxtaposition between sequin and a trainer. 
yeah. and it means that if your feeling is that is the outfit too smart as soon as you put a trainer on you feel i can get away because whatever the dress code might be mm -hmm. and you're scared if i'm dressing up too much you feel you're not yeah and it's a white shoe isn't and it's it a white shoe. don't have as much breathability though do you in this kind of material compared to the other dresses uh i so don't and so that's kind of like worth considering but there's a lot of cold british nights that will deal with this um oh i like that earring mm. just popped out that is from Lawrence cost in walton street and she does the most beautiful earrings that wow. you they look real it's not real but it's it's a nicely made non-real earring yeah okay next this was too big for me this is a size 12 or 14 so we took it in oh, because okay. when things are too big for me it just goes straight down my back so it looks like I've got a really long back which cuts under my bottom and it happens you know when things are too big yes, yes, as well so yes. what did you do here darling so I did I put a panel here yeah uh, yes that was the other thing this is so clever I Susanna yes. because it was too high at the back because the seam sort of went up at the back exactly yes and it was shorter at the, at the back the, yeah, so the, the, so the seam was shorter at the back here, so it looked really too like Princess Line. So this is what you put so in. So it's the insert the panel there, and then we leave it quite a line because it meant to be quite a line this dress, yeah. but I do quite a lot of on it. And where did you get the panel from? From the scarf. From the scarf, so she made the scarf shorter. It's a very long scarf. Yes. So Genius! So this is about then, if you buy something, if you see something in a sale and you love it and it's too big, it doesn't matter if you really think it's going to be great because you can buy it and then spend a little bit of money on getting it fitted, especially if you're buying designer dresses in a sale. Never just look in your size rack. Look in other racks because there might be the dress you want there and it can just be altered. Altered. Yes. <laughs> Exciting. Final dress reveal. Final dress reveal. <laughs> this is a dress that I bought to do some photographs for when we were launching skincare and I yeah. wore this on a little post on story saying doing something exciting and we were doing pictures for that and I haven't actually used any of the imagery and the thing is the fabric is not hugely breathable so it's sort of something I'd wear in the winter mm. you know and we can talk about winter white and I might just do because I think winter white is fabulous and it is hot I, I'm hot already it's 18 degrees outside today so I think I might just keep it for the winter and I love the fact the sleeves are different so that sleeve is like that oh yeah and this sleeve is like that very so you can just do different poses great for a press shoot releasing skincare That's why I, was <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that and my last white dress that I have bought is the me and M dress and I love this dress because it's such a classic shape I can wear it forever I can dress it up to Ascot or I can dress it down with flip-flops just about but we should all think about what kind of white dress we want in our wardrobe so I hope you enjoyed this week's Cosmic Confessions and next week we'll be doing maybe some day to night dressing or should it be how to wear nighttime dresses in the daytime